In high school, robotics changed his life, but he could not imagine then how his skills would end up being needed in a war zone. I went, <laughs> I went with uh, some buddies and we went down to one of Saddam's palaces and uh, appropriated or borrowed some of his uh, steel plate. And uh, it was really nice of him to let us use it. And uh, so we started Mad Max and just about everything. A veteran, like so many others, returning home with injuries both seen and unseen. But he's about to turn those talents into a way to heal, to try to build a future as he takes us to the heart of his story. Mark Blue, and I am a 100% disabled vet that is trying to start a small business. Uh, 44 Echo Fabrication. Mark's passion for figuring out how things work, coming up with solutions to problems, started young. As a kid, I always had that interest. You know how kids sometimes take things apart? I love taking things apart. It's just basically, I mean, my family members would just bring things to me and let me take them apart, and I just that kind of made it grow. By high school, robotics changed his life. But we built a robot, awesome, awesome robot. And we played in this game, uh, went to the regional competition in Chicago, and we scored in the top 10. I mean, out of hundreds of teams. I mean, it was a huge win. Um, that carried us through to the national competition in Epcot. So he wanted to take things to the next level, earn money for college, he signed up to serve, and then, the unthinkable happened. Uh, I was actually in the fifth week of basic training when the towers fell. Plans changed. His engineering skills were needed in a war zone a world away. I was in for 12 years, uh, reserve time. Uh, I went to Iraq in 2003 through 2004, um, 14 months total. I uh, was over there with the 389th Engineering Battalion, and we were supporting the first AD at BIOP. He found himself fabricating parts and equipment needed to save lives, as the soft door Humvees were costing soldiers their lives. I went, <laughs> I went with uh, some buddies, and we went down to one of Saddam's palaces and uh, appropriated or borrowed some of his uh, steel plate and uh, it was really nice of them to let us use it. And uh, so we started Mad Max and just about everything we could get our hands on. I mean, plate steel here, there, and everywhere, and then uh, sometimes even like grading over the windshield and um, adjustments for ergonomics for the soldiers when you're wearing all that gear, getting in and out of it is, can be pretty difficult. He did what he could, but in war, injuries take their toll and not just on the battlefield. Mind taking us through the, the, the injury that kind of changed your life? That, that... Well, mine is, uh, my injury is, Sorry, we don't have to go there if you don't want to. No, I mean, we can, I mean, I'll try to get as close as I can. All right, yeah. Um, so, uh, PTSD-wise, I, I think like most, in, most of the guys that were over there, um, guys and gals, I, uh, I didn't come back the same. Heightened sense of awareness and edginess, jumpiness, bad dreams, difficulty, you know, interacting with people, big crowds, stuff like that. Unable to work due to severe panic attacks, he found himself immersed in the growing tragedy of suicide among veterans, some of his friends among them. He stepped up to spread the word help and hope until 
losing his own dad nearly sent him over the edge. My dad's having problems. So then he commits suicide. <laughs> that kind of sent you over an edge, I assume. But it was on that edge, he went back to what he discovered about himself as a little boy. Could there be hope and healing in his own workshop? I like, more than like, I love building things. Absolutely love it. Um, it's about the problem solving. It's about um, thinking outside the box. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, I just, part of it is it probably takes my mind off of all of my other troubles, you know? And then at the same time, at the end of the day, you've got something to show for it, hopefully, you know, if you did your job right. Gives your brain something to focus on, to figure out your own little mystery that you gotta figure out how something yeah. works. Absolutely. Helping neighbors, working with wood, and at some point steel. Not for Humvees, but for everyday life. Building a business, building a future, powered by his past. So when wintertime comes and the wind's howling through here, I assume it's gonna be a little chilly. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gonna, yeah. Uh, it's, gonna, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be pretty cold, but I guess I'll, uh, I will, I guess I'm gonna learn how to be uncomfortable, I guess. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Except, for the guy who has had his share of tough breaks, a warm surprise has arrived at his shop on this day from a company founded by veterans so many years ago. The third generation now finding ways to honor vets today. Mark, Kevin with Peterson Plumbing and Heating. How you doing? Oh, hi, Kevin. Um, we're celebrating our 75th anniversary this year. And um, oh, wow. what we're doing is giving out some gifts to you. Uh, there's a people such as yourself. And uh, what we'd like to do is offer you heat for your garage for the uh, winter months. Are you serious? Dead serious. <laughs> we know what you do to the community and your family and the country, so we appreciate it. Thanks, man. No problem. Our pleasure. <laughs> Appreciate it. Damn it. <laughs> no, that's huge. That's that's that's. I was gonna freeze my ass off, man. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about building a little like a fort out of, <laughs> out of hay or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that is wow. That is a really big deal. We we'll get you taken care of. Wow. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. No problem. That. A thank you for the boy who tinkered with toasters to find his way and now found his own dream right here in an old barn. We want to thank Peterson Plumbing and Heating not only for this random act of kindness here, it was our idea to cover it by the way, not theirs, and for helping support our work where we shine a light on inspirational stories of veterans and other everyday people doing cool stuff. This is The Heart of the Story with Gary Bativier. Please subscribe, leave a comment if you can, and share with a friend. Thank you.